Hi guys, Ricky Martin here, and welcome back to our behind the scenes journey of the game collaboration between Bandai Namco, Digix Art Studio, and Arbman. Today, we're going to peek behind the veil at that painterly effect style that Arbman have been developing for the game. We're gonna to talk to the lead, well, the only graphics developer on the project, as well as chatting to some of the other technical art team. This is 11.11, Memories Retold, behind the scenes. My name is Alexander Burke and I am the graphics programmer on 11.11. At the start of the project I read a lot of like, uh, like actual research papers on how to like simulate paints but there was a lot of things that I just had to figure out how to do by myself. The way that the painterly effect is uh, constructed is that we actually simulate individual brush strokes. They are simulated as like particles. By breaking it down to, to those constituent parts uh, it allows us to have a lot of the key aspects of what makes a painting look like like a painting, you get like uh, broken up edges of individual strokes making up an object. We can make them flow along the surface of an object as well. So for example, if we have like water running down a stone, we can actually have that happen. Um, we can also change how quick each stroke is coming in and out of existence, which makes it boil. And we can also define like in what directions should the strokes go, which is quite important in determining the shape of an object. I've had three key areas that uh, was important for the painterly effect. One, make it look the way we wanted it to. Two, make it performant enough so it could actually run at a good frame rate on current consoles and, and PCs. And three, make a workflow for the artists so they could also create content. I think especially the third one has actually been in some ways like the most challenging because like what we do is, is so new and hasn't been done before. It's basically been like creating the track for a train while the train has started moving, so it's just like going fast enough to make sure that everyone can like keep moving forward. Hmm, insert Wallace and Gromit reference here. Uh, I'm Ollie Skillman Wilson, and I'm one of the game artists on 11.11. We control the texture that goes on the model, so we'll texture its color as you would with a traditional game asset and its material properties, like how it reflects light and that kind of stuff. And then on top of that, we control the paint to the effect with a set of textures that will control brush size, brush type, brush direction, and that's like a second texture, which just the paint the effect sees, and it'll read out all that information and start applying brush strokes on top of it based on what values we put into that texture. It can be slightly painful to look at a level without the paint the effect on, but we know we're prioritizing the right thing, because when we turn it on, when the lights are baked correctly, it's gonna look really lovely. My name is Cody Dyer, I'm lead technical artist here at Hardman. During the start of the project we like found ourselves essentially over engineering a lot of the assets. Artists want to make their stamp, they want to make nice assets, they want to be proud of it, but the actual reality is very often the kind of higher level of detail, the more um, noise that it would create for Alex's brush pass and ultimately what that would do is would, would create a lot of Z fighting and basically brush issues. So we get a lot of flickering and other things. So we had to tone everything back. We've simplified the kind of bitmaps. We've reduced the amount of detail and it's it's become a much more stable project for doing it. It's been an interesting roller coaster of kind of getting the right level of fidelity. I mean, it's very much a work in progress. As a byproduct of those guys doing the trailer, actually shone a light on a few things that Bram and I have been discussing already about you know, some additional kind of rim light shaders for the characters, other things that we need to make pop. It's really satisfying when it goes right, but I mean, I've had, I've had days, right, where I'm, or even weeks where I'm looking at materials and I'm making adjustments to sliders. And <laughs> I've, I've kind of got to the point where I like shut my eyes and I'm like, oh, I'm seeing brush strokes everywhere. <laughs> so it's kind of, you know, you kind of feel like you're getting a little mad from it. Currently, the, the effect is starting to look uh, really great. Our own confidence in it has been sort of like, oh, I hope this is gonna look good. Having not done this before, when I work on a project, I wanna push the state of the art forward. It's one of the, the main reasons why I joined uh, 11.11, that we were trying to create like a non-photorealistic rendering and really like push the boundaries there. That excited me. It astonishes me that that we are actually able to do it in the first place because people come from so different backgrounds. Like um, programming is very much like it's driven by logic. There's like a right and wrong, and then you go over to art where it's much more subjective. Our disciplines affect how we think. So it requires quite a lot of empathy to try and understand the other members of your team. That's one of the things I appreciate with, it, it is one of the best teams I've been a part of. There's a surprising amount of tech 
I think involved in making any game, even the simplest interactions aren't just there by default. Like there's some um, Peter Molyneux quote where he makes an analogy. Rather than it being about building a house, it's about building the architectural discipline and then building the house. Like you have to figure out the tool and the workflow before you can even start making the thing in the first place. And that's very much what this project has been, where you're building this effect from scratch, which Alex has done super impressive work on. So that's just very, very new and very, very technical and yeah, a new workflow for every artist on this project. And I've never seen anything like it. 